Open Stage Manager is an application written for Windows that enables you to get the most out of the capabilities of your Open Stage 60 and 80 phones. Specifically, you're able to manage your personal contacts, import from Outlook and synchronize with Outlook, manage contact images, import images to use for your screensavers, and program the free programmable keys on the side. So now let's take a closer look. Assuming it's not already installed on your PC, the first thing you're going to need to do is install OpenStage Manager. Fortunately, if you've installed a Windows program before, this should be nothing difficult. The first thing you do is click on the Install Executable, and then just confirm along the way. Once that process continues, simply hit Next. Agree to the license agreement. And the installation continues. Now, choose an installation folder where it will go on your C drive. Click Next to simply go with the default. And then decide if you want to have a desktop icon and if you want to launch the OpenStage Manager right away. Once that's done, the installation continues, and you simply have to wait. The process is now complete, so press close to continue on. Confirm that the, the process was successful, and that's all there is to it. When you run OpenStage Manager for the first time, the first prompt you'll receive is a window prompting you to create a relationship between the OpenStage phone and OpenStage Manager. All you'll need for this are the IP address and password for the phone. The DNS domain option is not necessary in the majority of cases. So the first thing I'll do is enter my IP address. And then my password. Once I've done that, I press OK, and you'll notice on the bottom right corner of the screen, there's an icon for the phone. At right this point, there's a red X suggesting that the connection has not been made. If I right-click and select the Reconnect option, the connection will be made and the icon will turn to green. And that's all there is to it. Once the installation is complete, you can run OpenStage Manager at any point by double-clicking on the icon or running it from the Start menu. As soon as the program started up, it takes a moment to connect with the phone and download the phone book. Once this is done, you'll have a variety of options available to you. One of the most important options on the phone are the contacts. The OpenStage phone holds up to 1,000 contacts. It's possible to either manually configure these or to synchronize them from Outlook. To set up Outlook synchronization, you go to the bottom of the, of the menu and you'll see a Start Synchronization button. To the right of this button, there's a small arrow. Simply click this arrow and you can define the direction in which synchronization occurs, either directly from the Outlook Contacts menu to the phone, from the phone to the Outlook Contacts menu, both ways, and you can also define if you want to automatically synchronize these contacts. So in this case, we're going to set up contact synchronization from Outlook to the phone. And then, we're going to define the automatic synchronization behavior. As soon as the menu pops up, check the Activate Automatic Synchronization option. And then define the interval that you want synchronization to occur. In this case, I'm going to have it so that Outlook and the OpenStage phone synchronize every four hours. Once I've done that, I press OK, and the synchronization process is configured. In this case, because synchronization hasn't yet happened, I'm going to start pushing a synchronization right away. So simply go over the Start Synchronization button and press it. You can do this to force synchronization at any time. For instance, if you just entered a new contact within Outlook, simply push the button and it will be pushed right to your phone. Once the synchronization is complete, you'll see all the contacts that were in your Outlook Contacts menu show up, as well as the accompanying photo. 
and that's all there is to it. The next important option that you can configure from your OpenStage Manager is the Backup Restore function. Simply click on Backup Restore and you get to the menu. OpenStage Manager makes it possible to save the entire contents of the OpenStage phone. Photos, contacts, free programmable key configurations, all to a single file. Go down and press the Browse button and select the location where you want the file to be. In this case, I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Type in a name for the file and then press Save. Then press the Backup button. Here you'll be prompted to enter a password that you'll need to remember whenever you want to restore the file. Press OK and then the backup is starting to be made. Now that you have a backup file, at any time to restore the file, all you need to do is go to the same menu and then hit the Restore tab. Browse and then on the desktop, double click on your file name. At this point you can press the Restore button and press OK to confirm. Enter your password and press OK. At this point your backup file is being restored and all of the data has been returned to your OpenStage phone. The next possibility is that you can use OpenStage Manager to configure the free programmable keys on your OpenStage phone. You can do this directly from the interface of the OpenStage, or if you prefer a Windows interface, you can use OpenStage Manager. So to do so, click on Key Configuration, and then identify one of the FPK options on the screen. In this case, Key 4 is open. Therefore, I'm going to set this up to do a speed dial to my colleague Alice. So, on the drop-down menu, select Selected Dialing, and then create a label. I'm just going to put Alice. Then in the Value field, enter the extension, and then scroll down to the Save button and press Save. Almost immediately, the FPK is configured, and now I can use the FPK to call Alice at any time. Now let's show how to have a little bit of fun with the OpenStage's excellent acoustic and video capabilities. You can turn your OpenStage phone into a digital photo frame by using the screensaver mode in OpenStage Manager. Press screensaver and then you can scroll down to the new button to import images from your PC. I'm going to select several photos I have on my hard drive and then press open. The images are now imported and I can preview any of them. I can also rename them and delete any of them if I choose. At this point, after a certain timeout on the phone, the OpenStage phone will then display them all in sequence. I can also use a wide variety of sound files from my PC in order to spice up my ringtones. Go to the ringtones menu and then in the same way you did with the photos, click the New button. Find the folder where you've stored some sound files and select them. And then press Open. The files will then be imported. And once they're in, I can click on any of the files and preview them by pressing the, the Play button on the right side. Once I've found one that I like, I can select it by clicking the checkbox. That tone will now be my new ringtone. If I deselect all of the options, I will use the default ringtone that is programmed on the OpenStage phone. But in this case, I've selected ringtone number 5. Hello, Rob speaking. Sounds fun. And that's it. Use OpenStage Manager to get the most out of your phone and have a little fun during the day.